On Earth in Southern California, it has been another stormy weekend and one of the wettest winters we've had in years. Yeah, CBS 2 Joy Benedict shows us people across the Southland. They appear unfazed by yet another day of rain. The soft sound of raindrops hit the Southland most of the morning. From downtown to the coast, folks grabbed umbrellas and did what they could to stay dry. It's a good day to run. It's nice and cool, except for the wind. That's a little strong. In Huntington Beach, surfers searched out the storm, hoping for bigger waves. And runners didn't let the water stop their plans. But they were glad that others chose to stay inside. I think it's great. <laughs> it keeps the path really empty. The roadways were messy. With less visibility, there were accidents and spin outs as the water pooled. But for many, the wet weather is a nice break from the usually sunny skies. I'm originally from New York, so I think it's a it's a good break from the perfect weather we have out here. But our weather has been far from perfect this winter, as this isn't our first wet weekend. We've had a lot already this year, so but more won't hurt as long as it doesn't flood. 11 and a half inches have fallen downtown since the beginning of the year. That's four and a half inches more than our average for this time. People who don't believe in climate change should take a good look. And although rain is expected in the winter here in Southern California, folks out and about say since we've had so many weeks of it, they're kind of ready for something a little bit more Californian. I'm used to California, but this time of year being warm and sunny and summery. But don't worry, summer is coming. And by then, we may just be longing for a day like today. When it's 100 degrees outside, you're going to be wishing for a day like this. Yeah, yeah. There's no, yeah, you're right. It's always too much of one or the other. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.